All right, today I'm doing some maintenance on an 07 Sprinter van. This one's the Dodge branded one, but Mercedes Freightliner, uh, they're all the same. They're all made by Mercedes and just have different logos on them. But today I wanna to take this engine cover slash air filter box off. It's pretty easy. Everything is all snaps and clips. You only need one tool. Either this is a 5 16 wrench or a flathead screwdriver to take this hose clamp off. Um, and that's it. Let's get into it. We're going to take this off and you need to take this off if you are doing anything underneath uh, oil filter uh, or not oil filter. Sorry. Well, actually, yeah, if you're doing the oil, oil filters down there, uh, your fuel filters right in here. And so to do any of the maintenance, you got to get this off. So let's take it off. So first I'm going to start off with this guy. We're going to reverse our drill here and just loosen this guy up a little bit. Our hose comes off there. Then we are going to come to our mass airflow sensor. I'm going to grab this guy. You squeeze the clip and pull with your other hand. And that comes right out there. Then we're going to get our other sensor here. Now I am going to leave this on, but you can clip this off if you want to totally get this uh, out of the way. Otherwise, you can just move this over to here and do the work you need to do. The other thing is our battery connector. So there is a little clip in here and you push down and pull up. Hold on, let me get a better angle. So let's jump in here, push in and there we go. So yeah, there's a, a tab in there. Let's get a closer look. Right there, there's that tab. And this is where you jumpstart the vehicle if you need to. So that's off. Then we grab our hose, push down, and you gotta get this little clip in the hole to clear. So you can do that. And this just comes off. Don't worry about that. That's in there. So that's that, that's that. Then our next thing, this is the thing that <laughs> confuses folks, is uh, this here, these are like, little rubber washers and you just gotta give it a good yank especially when they're brand new <clears throat> like that it's a little scary but that comes off and there we go voila actually <laughs> our little connector popped off that i was looking at there but no worries that'll go back on and then we can see there's our turbo fuel filter uh, oil filter and that's how you get it uh get it off and then just reverse the process 